Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mega Cast. Uh, as you might have already noticed, we just got brand new microphones. These are we're upping the budget. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. I can't, that's awful. There, there were a few people out there who were just like, "Wait, what? Did they really get new microphones that sound like this?" Can you hear my McDonald's soda in the background? Hey, I got one too. Mm. Listen to that. It's the ice. I got sweet tea, but it's not very good because it's McDonald's not. sweet tea. So what did I expect? Not only that, but it's not Southern sweet tea. It's so sweet. Or from Zeke's. It is burning my teeth. Like, I, I feel it drilling holes in my teeth. Jesus. Creating cavities as I speak. Really? Let me get another sip of that sweet stuff. Your teeth are weak when it comes to cold shit. My teeth are just weak in general. Like, I can, I, like, personally, I can bite into ice cream, like, I, full force. Mm, no. And, like, I'm, it's, there's, it's nothing. So I can't, like, sometimes even just water that's slightly cold will send, like, my teeth into a terrible pain. Or anything slightly hot. Like, I just ate that uh, Mick Griddle, and it burned the hell out of my sensitive ass teeth. <laughs> it burned your teeth? Yeah, like, it, it just in, like, pain that lasted for a good minute <clears throat> afterwards. Jesus. I need Sensodyne. But, I okay, I did a whole tube of Sensodyne. Nothing happened. I didn't feel anything from it. What's up with that, Sensodyne? Yeah, Sensodyne. And speaking of brands, we have a sponsor. <clears throat> Wait a second, Matt. <laughs> Is that me undies I smell? Yes, it is, Ryan. That's the fresh smell of this very nice, cheap underwear. Cheap as in, it's, it doesn't cost a lot, but not in quality-wise. It's very good. Those are some soft and comfortable underwear you have there, Matt. Yes, they are. And, you know, they would help you really raise the stakes and up the quality to your underwear collection in your top drawer. Yes, they, I could not have said that any better myself, Ryan. Because everyone is thinking about looking good and feeling good. Including me. And me. And me undies are the ultimate feel-good underwear. Ryan, hit me with some trivia about me undies. Every pair of me undies is sustainably sourced and made from cocoa beans. What, I'm just really? kidding. They're made from micro model and, and, fa and fabric that's three times softer than cotton. Okay, you got me with the cocoa beans thing, brother. If you're used to buying boring underwear, me undies will change everything. Because me undies come in all colors and patterns, and they release new, limited edition patterns each month that always sell out! Ah! This month's patterns were designed by the legendary 80s clothing brand Cross Coolers. Nice. Colors. With names that live up to their bold design in bright colors. Increase D Peace. Ya dig? And the OG. Nice. Very nice. You gotta see them for yourself, listeners. And right now, you'll save 20% off your first pair and receive free shipping only at MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Oh, and by the way, if you don't love your first pair of MeUndies, they're free. Absolutely free. Now stop, Matt. What? They're, they're, they're not made with cocoa beans. That was a joke. Yeah, they're made with a, uh, hold on, where is it? Micromodal fabric that's three times softer than cotton. So don't don't take away the sponsorship. And you can get 20% off your first pair plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Ryan, where do you go to get these? MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's right, guys. So go get yourself some comfortable underwear. Uh, the link is in the description. Try it for yourself. 20% off. Free shipping. Oh, man, that's good stuff, isn't it, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Ryan, did your parents have any... <laughs> Why would you do that when I'm talking? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did your parents have any other names they wanted to name you besides Ryan? Uh, I don't know. I think just, <laughs> I don't know. They never told me, dude. I'm sorry. Why are you laughing? What's funny? <laughs> just, <laughs> just started laughing. That's just an odd question. What I do don't mean? know. I just thought of it. I'm Ryan. What my mom, my mom wanted to name what me like, like, I, I could have been a Tiffany. I well, I don't know. Been. Like a lot of people say like, oh, my parents were going to name me this or that, but then they chose Ryan. I think my mom was going to name me Scout or something. I'm, I'm glad she didn't, because that would have been really dumb. <laughs> I think so, you'd have been a little shit. Yeah. I would've, Scout. If it just sounds like a, like, a, like one of those moms, if it's like, oh, this is Scout. Sounds like a dog that gets shot at the end of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It does sound like a dog. I would have a, a dog's name, Scout Watson. I mean, it's kind of cool sounding, but at the same time, it just like... The, Scout would be cool if you were already like an old man. Like, yeah. That's a cool old man Whoa, name. Oh, that's Scout. He lives across the street and... Has all the kids over to his house for stories. Yeah, like for me when I was young, like it always, I always felt like people's names, uh, kind of like it was weird, like existed in the age range they were in. I was like, oh, he looks like a George because George sounded like an old man's name. And then, mm -hmm. and then like my name Ryan sounds young and Matt sounds young to me. Yeah. Like I, I just don't picture like an old, like an old man. Hey, look, that's Matt. His name would be Matthew. Yeah, that's the thing. So when you're older, your name is like, <clears throat> I wonder if when I'm old, am I going to go by Matthew or Matt? Like, will there come a point when I start going by Matthew instead because I'm older and like, it just like fits more? As a senior yeah. or something? Because like, 
because because they'll probably most people read my name off of papers. Yeah, like nursing home people and shit. So they'll say, "Hi, Matthew. Got to take your pills today, Matthew." And I'll say, "Bitch, I had a Let's Play channel. It was funny." Uh, that's very good, Matthew. Got to take your vitamins and your pills. Got to take this one today. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you trying to do to my father? Is that my son? Why does he have a, <laughs> does he have a Boston accent? <laughs> why would that be your son? That sounded more like a a feminine, like Bobsy Burgers. But you said father. You said, "What are you trying to do to my father?" So it's yeah. my son. Why would I be the son? That sounded like a, a father man. can have. That, that was sounded a man's like voice. a man. It was a man's voice. This voice, I don't know what it was. I thought maybe it was a little boy, and I had a little boy in, in Brooklyn or something. Do you have a little boy in Brooklyn? No. Yeah, my my so my name was Matthew. My sister's name was your Sue. name is still Matthew. It is. Well, it's Matt now. <laughs> Ain't no one calls me Matthew these days. Matthew. I kind of like Matthew though. What if I went by Matthew instead of Matt? It's still more work. Why are you making people do more work? I don't know. Just Matt. That's easy. Matt. Matt. I don't know. It has a weird like nasally. Hey Matt. Weird sound to it. Hey Matthew. Matthew sounds more official, more grown up. Yeah, but it's it's a bitch to say. Matthew? Matthew. Matt's a makes Ma- your makes your mouth do a lot Matt, of work. Matt's weird. It's like nasally like Matt, Matt, Matt. <laughs> Matt. It sounds like a bird, like a like a big raven or something. <laughs> sounds like uh if Bernie Sanders were a Pokemon, that's what it would sound like. What would like uh Obama's Pokemon sound like? Michelle! Michelle! <laughs> Michelle, Michelle! <laughs> okay, what what if Well <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about my sister's name, and I just thought of the word Samanthony. <laughs> just a funny what? name. Samanthony? Dad, why'd you name me Samanthony? <laughs> Your mother really wanted to name you Samantha. But I'm a boy! <laughs> I know, son. I, I, I couldn't convince her otherwise, and I wanted to name you Anthony. So we met We met in the middle. Samanthony? Is that the best you could fucking come up with? Why'd you do that? Everyone makes fun of me. Well, well, you can you can just go by one of them. But then when they call my name out every single every time in class, they always go uh sub sub uh an, uh Sam Anthony. <laughs> and and uh, you know, you, everyone laughs at me, and and it makes it hard to make friends. Listen, Sam Anthony, you're a sweet. Stop boy. calling me that. <laughs> I'm gonna name my kids Sam Anthony now. You're a little asshole. What? Why would you name your kids that? How does it make me an asshole? I the, <laughs> that would ruin them. I have the right to name my children what I please. <laughs> that would ruin them. No, it's, it's it like why it's, them. It would make them into a strong. That's like the guy who named his son Sue to turn him into a strong man. Isn't isn't there a law where you can't name your children brands? Sam Anthony's not a brand. I'm not to fuck Sam Anthony. I'm like whoa. <laughs> well, hey there, that's my that's, that's my, my, future, my son. future son, dude, <laughs> or whatever that it is. That'd be my son. If it's a girl, I'll name it Anthony Samantha. Nice one. That word. was a good one. No, no, just one. That's a good follow up. Hey, <laughs> um, I've seen Baby Driver. We were supposed to see it tonight. Ryan, but, but Matt this, wanted this to record podcast, another podcast. This, well, we have to record another podcast. We could have recorded have... it tomorrow. You said we have to we record a lot see of Baby other... Driver. I mean, I've already seen it, Ryan, twice. We have to record a lot tomorrow. We don't have time to do another podcast. <sighs> it's better to get things done early. <sighs> but I do want to see Baby Driver. But by the time this podcast comes you out, I care I've more seen about it. them than you do me, Matt. You won't go see a movie with your boy, Ryan. I'm trying with to... your boy. I'm trying to milk every single dime out of these kids. So we gotta keep making content. Gotta milk them so we have something to drink at the movies. You talking about milking kids? <laughs> Change it. Do you ever get scared by any episodes of Arthur? Arthur? Yeah, I got I got I got real scared of one when I was younger. There's this one where like he gets there's this part in the episode where he gets like a really deep voice. What? Oh, DW Oh, when he punches her <laughs> oh, yeah. in the jaw, that should be hilarious. <laughs> no, that scared me. Pops it's fucking Arthur. Like, physically assaulting someone. Like yeah, that, dude. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Little bitch deserved it. <laughs> she threw his model plane out the window. <laughs> and he told her not to touch it. What did he she might do? Have not, he, might, I, he might have not said it in slow motion. She said, He goes, I told you <laughs> not to touch it. And then it's like. When he fucking pops that little bitch square <laughs> in the jaw. He's getting so animated about about she deserved about it, a dude. little kid punching he said, his younger sister. Okay, if you watch that episode, Arthur puts a bunch of fucking work into making this little airplane. And what does he tell DW? He said he tells her one thing specifically. He says, This is it's very important to me. Did she not- do it out of malice? 
Or no, did she, she didn't because she's an idiot. He said, do not touch this. She she did not listen. She goes in the room. Not only does she touch it, she throws it out the fucking second story window. But what would be what would the episode be without her touching the plane? What do you mean? It wouldn't be a f- good episode. Yeah. Like So she has to do it. She has from she was created to touch that fucking plane. Her whole existence relies on her touching that plane. What do you mean? I mean that she was gonna touch it from the start. Like, the, like, there's a plan? Yeah, there's a master plan. And if you guys just understand that the Earth is flat... <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Arthur episode where uh, DW's teacher tried saying that evolution was a real thing? <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. And then Arthur goes to the school and protests and says, I'm not going to go to class as long as they're teaching this bullshit monkey theory. <laughs> monkey theory? Yeah, that's what I like to call evolution, monkey theory, because it's just a bunch of monkeying around. Ah, uh, dude, no, but there actually was an episode of Arthur that scared me. This is my whole original point. It's the one where uh, Francine, remember her? Uh, scary woman. Yeah, she she throws up in the cafeteria, and it really scared me really bad because I was scared of throw up. Was it green? They didn't show the throw up, but you could hear it. You could hear it. Yeah, she watched like, Ugh! and like it pours out of her mouth and everything. Do you hear like the splatter yep, sounds? You do, dude. Let me see. Oh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh oh. Nice. That was Francine tossing her cookies. That's that was good. That episode really hit home with me. When but I was you're a not kid, as though. scared as vom- of vomit anymore. No, I did it recently, so now I really it wasn't as scary. Oh, either. in Tokyo? Yeah, I threw up in Tokyo. But I I threw up for like the first time in many many a moon, and it was a lot scarier ahead of time than I thought. And then I wasn't too scared of it afterwards. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Honestly, you're getting over a fear. Do you have Do you have a fear? That is starting to be equal with that? Like, do you have a a something vomit? that you might be as afraid of? In terms of actual fear, no. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a man. I don't get scared of things. Yeah, you're easy. a big, strong boy. But, um, a big, strong man. But, yeah. uh, like, boy. I don't know. I'm really scared of cock. Cockroaches really scare me really <laughs> bad. I'm terrified you of those little things. So it sounded funny at first. What, what did I miss? What did I? What, did I say it wrong? You, you began to say cockroach, but you only said the first half of the word. Really? You were like, I was really afraid of cock cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, dude, cockroaches scare the ever living shit out of me. I cannot stand them. Why? That's the most irrational fear you have. Hmm. Well, cockroaches, yeah, I guess they can't really hurt you. I mean, they don't bite. They don't sting. Maybe they signify a dirty environment and just kind of unclean areas. Maybe that's why I'm scared of vomit, so too. So maybe that's why we currently are, like, people are afraid of them? I that's think, what their brain well, justifies actually, like, to? apparently, like, babies will try to play with cockroaches and shit, so they're not inherently scared of them. That's, that's something that we teach. We teach our kids to be scared of spiders and cockroaches. Spiders make sense. I don't know why cockroaches are so scary though. I hate them. I think anything that's tiny that moves really fast is really fucking scary. And it's like they're they're dark and they're like they have like a shell and these little prickly legs. Oh and and by the way, you listening, you know who you are. Turn around, there's a cockroach on the wall. There's going to be one person turned around there was actually a cockroach on then the wall. Then you're going to have that person that lies so they can be the one person in the, the little comments karma section. whore in the comments. There's nothing scarier than back in South Carolina. Like, cause you know, we got those palmetto bugs, those big scary fuckers. Like, I'd, I'd be about to go to bed and I would just see one. I'd be like, fuck! <laughs> and then I'd like, I'd throw my shoe at it, I'd try to kill it and it would run under like a desk and then disappear and then I can't find it again. And I'm like, I'm not sleeping in here tonight. I can't sleep in here. Are you so describing I'd... a moment from the thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I equate them to. They're terrifying. <laughs> I hate them. But like, has, have they ever hurt you? No, it's like, I'm not scared of them hurting me. I don't know what the fear is. I just can't, uh, I can't stand them. <laughs> like one time in the middle of the night, it's I It's like woke being up. tickled. Not like on the same thing, but like, you know, you're just like, yeah, ah, I don't like that feeling. It makes like, you cringe. It's like, you don't like the the way it makes you feel when you see one. Yeah, no, no, no. Because it's guess. like, I imagine I them on me and they're crunchy and like. Why do you imagine them gross. on you? Like when I see one, I just get that sensation. Whenever you see something, do you have to imagine it on you before you're comfortable with it? Yeah, dude. That's how I got to know your mom so well. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, dude. No, but I remember I was in bed one time and I felt like a tickle on my back. And I remember yeah. slapping my back and falling back asleep. And then I woke up in the morning. There was a cockroach leg where I'd been sleeping, which means there was a roach on me. That's happened several times in my life because I grew up in Charleston. There were like three times in my life where I've woken up with a cockroach crawling on me. And that's one of the reasons I hate them so much. That's such an unpleasant feeling. Why don't they? They just need to like. Fuck off. Respect 
our space. Seriously, do whatever you want, cockroaches. Just stay out of my space. Respect it. Just come on. I have my I I have my bed. It's the place where I go where nothing can hurt me. And they're going in there, spreading their ideas and their culture, and it just scares me. I don't like it. But uh, cockroaches, yeah, very scary things. Yes. Ryan, I've, I recently watched the very first episode of Dragon Ball. Not Dragon Ball Z, the original Dragon Ball. With Ross and Chris, right? With Ross and Chris. Yep. And I really enjoyed it. And I want to watch more Dragon Ball now. Because I, I, that's one of those shows that everyone I know is a big fan of. And I've never seen any of it. So I thought I'd give it a try. Have you seen any Dragon Ball? I've seen, like, some of Dragon Ball. But I think I've mostly... I've seen more Dragon Ball Z because that was, was, that was on TV a lot more. I guess when I was growing up, or yeah. that seemed to be what was on whenever my stepbrother was watching it. Um, but I could never, I was never really interested in them, just like I was never interested in Power Rangers. Uh, I don't know, I could never get into Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball. It all looked really cool. Maybe I need to go in now, since I'm older. Yeah, I just, I want to I wanna know about it. It looks fun, I like all the characters. I like, the reason I got into it was when I was in Tokyo, I saw a sticker of Bulma. She had her booty popping out. Whoa. It, it's, oh on, it's on my Instagram. God. Go check it out. <laughs> but um, I, I saw it and I was like, whoa. So then I'm like, oh, that's from Dragon Ball. I want to watch it. She's so cute, dude. Bulma? Yeah. She, she's a cutie with a booty. You got the sticker. like you, like you. I can't find it online. Well, I found it. Someone in the comments on Instagram was like, here is where you can get it. But they were all sold out. So. Oh, fuck. You know, it makes I'm, me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But like... That, that's also one of those things I could never get into as a kid, but I kind of want to now. Stickers? No, Dragon Ball. Like, I remember I really wanted to... I was into Yu-Gi-Oh! only to have the cards, but I never played the game or Same. watched the show. I just got the cards because I thought the cards were cool. I played Pokemon, though. I didn't play any card game as a kid. I was a fucking little loser. I... I, I th- <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh! was... I feel like more people collected them... Just for the look of the monsters and not to actually play. Yeah, I know. Because then you have to actually put effort into them. But if you can just say, hey, Pops, throw down throw down a few bucks with that soda pop. What? And uh, maybe I can get a little pack of cards and I'll get me a blue eyes, drag, blue dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. Whatever. I think that's what it is. I had that and then I had the little red one. What's the red dragon's name? Red eyes, red dragon. Red eyes, red dragon. I love those. Red ears, green. It's not a, nope. Wizard. Stuff. <laughs> Blonde hair, black man. <laughs> That's the one where you have to get like the hair, different parts black of black man. <laughs> you have to find the fucking hair. Beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> Some dims. Oh man. What's it, what's it with dims? They're just funny, I don't know. <laughs> No one ever mailed us Tim's. You're going to get a psychopath to mail you Tim's. You're really... I'm going to get a psychopath to mail me Tim's? <laughs> a no... psychopath is going to mail... Like, why would a psychopath be mailing me Tim's? <laughs> they just have a thirst for blood. Yeah, because they 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 want to fucking kill you. They want to lure you in. That makes no sense. Why would they, How would they kill me by sending me a pair of Tim's? <laughs> they're going to send you Tim's, and all of a sudden they're going to start, like... Throwing in messages with the mail, and you'd be like, "Oh, cool. Maybe, I'm, maybe this person's cool, and I'll talk to them and s- tell them thank you." Then they'll hook you in, and they'll be like socially like really funny, and they'll become like a really cool internet friend of yours. And then you invite them over one day. You say, "Hey, friend, come over to our place." I'm like, "Matt, come on. This person was a fan. What are you doing?" I'm like, "It's cool. Just fucking some fans. It's, it's it's cool. I'm just I'm just clearing. I'm just I'm just. He's he's cool." But you bring him into our place, and what does he do? What does he do? He kills you. He murders you. He fucking stabs your nose in and slits your stupid throat. Okay. All because you wanted fucking Tim's, dude. So yeah. don't so put that hex on us. That's okay. all I'm saying. Don't send Tim's. I changed my mind. I'll buy a pair for myself. Send Let me spend lo- $200 on a pair of shoes. Wow. <laughs> Why do people do that? Like... We were when we were we were in was it Melrose Boulevard that has all the fucking yes all the crazy like had like six thousand dollar like Nike sneakers what's, that, what's like, that goofy brand what goofy brand? what's it called Supreme yes yeah, Supreme all the goofy people wear Supreme it's like really expensive Supreme shirts it's like, like a plain white shirt for sixty bucks <laughs> every time I see someone wearing like Supreme I like laugh a little. Like inside, it, it seems to be mainly Asian fuck boys. I'm serious. Like those Nuh-uh. are the, like the only the main supreme wearing people I know. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like especially dude, when I was in Tokyo, every dude wears supreme. It's like every guy had supreme. It just on. looks so 
just let's do the Supreme logo, but it says Super Mega. It's clear under parody, so we could do that. Yeah, and it's got enough similar letters to almost look like Supreme. If you would buy that, comment in the comments because we're doing merch now soon. I don't know if by the time a poster podcast, should be up. It's um, like maybe not this week. Not this week, but might like be next week. Soon. Like it's in production. If my you know my favorite YouTuber is. Mr. Ray anime. William John, yes, Mr. Mr. Anime. anime. You like Mr. Anime? I'm, I, well, who is he? Come on, you know my boy Trey Sessler, Mr. Anime. The uh, shake my memory up. He killed his whole family. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, so guys, next week we have Mr. Anime coming on the podcast <laughs> as our guest. Uh, we, we're actually going. When to did the... he do this? It was Mr. Okay, he did anime reviews. He had like a bowl cut kind of, and he did anime reviews. And he slowly started like putting more guns in his videos and shit. And he did kind of like nostalgic. He was in some of your older videos. He was actually, yeah. No, I I never knew him. Just for people that don't realize, (laughs) I never knew him. Uh, He did like anime reviews, kind of like angry video game nerd, nostalgia critic style. I mean, not as good, but you know, he kind of did the little skit side of it. And then one day he just like killed his whole family and drove to school with a bunch of ammunition to shoot up his school, but I think he either turned himself in or he got caught. Good fucking lord. I know, now he's in prison for life. Can't do no anime reviews from prison. Well. Kids, if you want to do anime reviews for a living, do not kill your family. That's a very crucial step. Some people somehow miss, so... Like, that's just a prerequisite. Is The prerequisite to becoming... An anime and, reviewer. Yeah, an anime on reviewer YouTube. on YouTube is to not kill your family. Because you you cannot be one if you do that. So yeah, let's just keep that in mind. All right, all you want to be anime reviewers, just just think about it. Let that you got it. Let it stew. Let it sink in. Ryan, what if Barack Obama walked in the room right now and and gave you a free Wii Mini and walked out? <laughs> would you? How enthralled would you be? I'd I'd run after him to take a, the picture of like the back of his head as he was leaving. No, but the second you get out the door, he's gone. <gasps> he's just, it was never there. You know, don't even. See You'd him. be here. You'd see it with me. Yeah, but he's just gone when we get out there, and we're like, was that fucking Barack? Would Obama? you be an asshole and tell people that it's not Barack Obama and have people think I was crazy? Yeah, probably. But no, uh, be funny as hell. But dude, you would have you would have seen it too. I'd say yeah. Ryan went to Goodwill and got a wee mini, and then was like, now he's telling people that Barack <laughs> Obama gave it to him. I'm like Matt, President you were Barack there. O- Matt, you were fucking there. We were both in the fucking recording room. Ryan, and he came in. No, stop. Where do you keep getting this story? Stop fucking. Yeah, Barack me. Obama came. And yeah, gave Barack you a Obama mini. came into the recording room and handed me a wee fucking mini, and you saw it. Okay, Ryan. I'm, stop yes, I'm doing sure that did. shit, I'm Matt. Sure he did. Some serious dad, Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny sound. High five. I like it when you do funny fart sounds with your mouth. That adds a lot to the podcast. You're a gifted comedian. <laughs> Did you spill your drink on the carpet? Must brought soda. Must brought soda. Dude, I get, here's the thing about Lil Yachty. Like, He's he's one of two things. He's either like a genius or he has two brain cells. I can't. I, and when I watch, <laughs> Come on. I can't figure out which one. Uh, like he just comes off as like such a dumb dude, but I love him. They'll be like, so Lil Yachty, like, how did you react to getting this fame so quickly? And he's like, I just, I, it was all planned. You know, I, yeah, it was planned. I mean, like, that's it. <laughs> it was planned. I watched an interview with him where he, they're like, what's your favorite food? And he's like, pizza. Man, I eat pizza every day. It's all I eat. And apparently, Lil Yachty says that he only eats pizza since he was 14. He hasn't eaten anything else. He only eats pizza every day for each meal. How you doing? It's pretty, I'm pretty good. You know, I just had some pizza. It's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I've actually had pizza. Oh, my God. For every day of my life since I was 14. If, if we can get Lil Yachty on the podcast... God, I'd love to have him on. Oh my God! Hey, Lil Yachty, if you're if you listen to this, come on our podcast. I'll give you five dollars and a stick of gum, and we'll have a good time. We'll talk about stuff. What was that? Where's my five dollars, bitch? <laughs> he just zaps in. <laughs> come on, man, give me my fucking five dollars. I'm on your podcast. And then, he, and then he hands you a wee mini and walks out of the room. <laughs> See you later. He he nods. I look across the room. Barack Obama's in the window of the recording room, and then slinks out of view. Are oh, you getting one too? <laughs> It's like, see you, Sprat Soda. Come on, Miles. I think that's his real name is Miles. He always leaves the room, and as he as as he like floats or hovers in into nothingness, 
Give me the spray soda. It's a good commercial. Give me the spray soda. I like him a lot. <laughs> He's like 19. That's one of my favorite commercials right now, I think. It's just such an odd commercial. Give me the spray soda. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. They show up before movies at the movie theater. What would you do if all of a sudden yeah. one of your old channels became like the number one best channel on YouTube? Like a guy, like it just overnight went to like two million subscribers. Went past PewDiePie, all Pew- in PewDiePie? one day. <laughs> yeah, right past PewDiePie. Yeah, right, um, right past PewDiePie. I don't know, dude. I guess I'd have to embrace it. I would have no choice. Like you couldn't get the money made off of it. Oh fuck! Well, but wouldn't that mean I'd be able to get like brand deals and like go on talk shows and shit? I guess, yeah, you'd be like super famous for like but then pe- videos th- that made. But then the grade. Wall Street Journal would try to like take down your character. Yeah, they probably would. Speaking of the Wall Street Journal, oh. what what's your dream company to work for if you weren't working for Super Mega Productions Incorporated, an LLC corporation company? Any, I guess, uh, production uh, studio. Do you have one that in mind? that I respect? What, what what's one you respect? <clears throat> like A twenty four. A twenty four is good. Um, I like, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce some of them. It's, uh, how do you pronounce the Christopher Nolan one? Sin. Oh yeah. 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 Um, it starts with a labyrinth. Yep. That one. I like, uh, if I had to work for any company other than working for game groups right now, it'd be Clickhole without a doubt. Yeah. I fucking love Clickhole. I want to write articles and direct videos for them. Okay. If anyone uh, listening to this works for Clickhole. People who work with Clickhole look down on us. Yeah, I know. Like, they're so, <laughs> yeah, they're so funny, know. though. They are. Clickhole is like, right now, for me, it's like the, the peak of comedy. It's like, that is, that is what is the funniest shit on the internet to me right now. They have they have some ones that are just so, like, painfully funny. I've, I, I love pretty much everything they've done, even, like, when it comes to, like, The Onion and the movie reviews they've, they've done, yeah, which are yeah, always yeah. hilarious. Um, but th- I just, we've, we've ranted, we've ranted so much about Clickhole before, but it just always amazes me how they're always spot on with their representation of what they're trying to replicate. Oh, they, they get it perfectly every time. Like whenever they're trying to like make fun of something or be like a Buzzfeed video, they get it down to the last detail. How do they get these actors too? They get the weirdest actors to be in these videos. But the actors are also good in the role that they're playing. Like always. when when you look at this person and... Uh, the context of the video, it fits 100%. Like, it doesn't it doesn't feel like a Tim and Eric where the joke's on the actors. The actors feel like they're part of the joke. Like you know they, what I mean? Like, they'll do a video where it's, like, inspirational. Watch this man kiss tin lemons, then go to bed. And it'll be, like, an old six-year-old white man getting in bed, and he just kisses tin lemons, and then turns the lights off, <laughs> and that's it. And it's like, why? <laughs> it's beautiful. And then they have the BuzzFeed type videos where it's like watch these people describe the first time they tasted Gatorade. I love I love those videos a lot because they do really accurately pre- like present the problem that I have with BuzzFeed, which is I read some of the titles to you the other day. Like sometimes just to make I my, thought you were making them up. Just to make myself laugh, I try to just go down BuzzFeed's just video playlist and just find the most just kind of just ridiculous just it's kind just, of just like, normal, normal so mundane, yeah. Like two strangers try coleslaw blindfolded and then go home. <laughs> like, <laughs> whoa, wow. dude! I think, but I think like punching on BuzzFeed is punching down, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're they're a bigger corporation than us, but I'm I'm talking about like beating a dead horse. Yeah. I'd say. Sorry, I used the wrong phrase, bro. Ten gifts of Ryan McGee that'll make you beat a dead horse. The number one, the one that he hates. Uh, hold on, Ryan. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? You're over here talking shit on BuzzFeed, but who was in a BuzzFeed article on this couch? I was about, it was about farts. It is because I, I made a a funny little tweet about- <laughs> You were in a BuzzFeed article I know. about farts. With Raven Simone. Yeah. Uh, not with Raven Simone, but she was in my tweet because like, <laughs> her her, her uh, like mantra is, yep, that's me. You know? Yeah. And so I made a little funny tweet. It was, and I was hilarious. Like, I was slapping I was like, my knee. <laughs> when, when you toot in front of your friends or something like that. And then it was I worded the, it oddly. Yeah, and then it was just the picture of her and it said, yep, that's me. And then just like two <laughs> weeks later, you were like, dude, 
my tweets in a BuzzFeed article. <laughs> it's and the it was most like ridiculous thing because it's what like, what was the article even? I don't know, but I feel like the the article thought that I was being legitimate in my in my uh, description. Definitely, Not, I I don't think they caught at all that I was making fun of the exact thing that they were like thinking that my tweet was. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So it was odd to see that just kind of... All right. The, just, that was just... A, did you find it? I found the article you were featured in. <laughs> what is it's it? It's called 31 Tweets About Farts That We All Secretly Relate To. <laughs> and it's an official like BuzzFeed article, too. It's written by like a, a BuzzFeed person. Yeah, BuzzFeed staffer, David Bertozzi. Good job, David. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me scroll down until I find it. It's uh, a little further down. Hold on. This person's admirable pride, and it's Raven Simone, and it says, yup, that's me. And it's Ryan McGee, that moment your friends sniff that smelly fart. <laughs> it's just right there on BuzzFeed.com. <sighs> that's your big break, dude. And you like, I, top I feel like they legitimately thought I was a person who's like, oh my god, how relatable is it, though? Like, when you fart and your friends smell it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> the know, article, man. make the article! <laughs> so it's like, just seeing the, uh... The self-awareness stripped away from it, and I'm like, oh, wow. It made me realize that maybe a lot of people actually took that tweet seriously. Seriously, ju just funny. like the BuzzFeed article. Like, did. the writer of that BuzzFeed article, like, nothing nothing against him, all the power to him, because it's his job. I mean, that's what he has to do, but, like, what he had to do was go out of his way to find 31 funny tweets about farts. That was his day <laughs> Bottom of the barrel. Like, that sucks. Like, that just had to be no fun. Like, he just had to sit there and be like, ah... Uh, just search the word fart on Twitter and see what comes up. How did my tweet show up? Because it was probably you probably just got very lucky. Like I was, yeah, they were was probably if I if I were to describe the definition of lucky, it would be that moment in my life. It was you know like the writers you know they had this one sitting in the chamber for a while. They were they were cooking on it. it's like this is gonna be good, but we need thirty one tweets about farts that everyone can secretly relate to. No, what if it was originally thirty? Then they saw mine and just went, <laughs> we gotta add that one. We have to add that. Like one. they were in the process of publishing it, and they had to pull it from the like pull it, pull it, pull it. <laughs> yeah, we got another one. <laughs> this one's good. Oh my god, how did we miss this fucking mask? Masterpiece. This this quite clearly displays what we were trying to say. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna print out that that the page from that BuzzFeed article, and I'm gonna frame it. And we're gonna hang it up on our apartment. <laughs> we should. We should. We, we should screen cap. Should. Just, it should be the window of our computer. Like it should be a Chrome window or an Internet Explorer window or some shit. And I mean, it's just your your little tweet. Oh my god. <laughs> I never, I never, I said, I don't think I ever congratulated you on that. So congratulations oh, thank officially. Like, thank this you very is my much. real, genuine congratulations for that. <laughs> thank you. Imagine someone doing that on TV, like receiving the Medal of Honor. <laughs> Re receiving a purple heart. Yeah, they're receiving like a purple heart. And the president's like putting it around them, like. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Why the fuck did you cough on me? You just looked at me and just coughed directly on me. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. It's not, you're spreading germs. That's funny, dude. Like the time, you know, you put your fingers in my mouth. You always bring this up. You always bring this up. I didn't get sick. Oh, boo. -hoo. But I was lucky not to. Blah, blah, blah. We shook hands with people for like three hours at a convention and then Ryan stuck his fingers in my mouth. Yeah. If I got sick, you know I would have purposely gotten you sick too after that. I would have I, like, I deserved it. I would have deserved it. 100%. I would have like, when you're sleeping, I'd like, I, I'd like, Spit on my finger and then like stick it in your mouth. But you ended up getting sick from E3. Oh yeah, I got sick from E3. Like instead of shaking hands with like hundreds of people at VidCon, I go to E3, shake hands of like <laughs> 25 people max, and then I got sick. <laughs> God, I'm just trying to imagine your thought process of what's my fingers were in your mouth. You must have just been like... <gasps> Fuck you! I was you, mad. You must Here. have been. You must have been like legitimately angry. I was me. like inside. Because I was like, now I'm gonna get sick. Like, so my 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 legitimate thought process though was first thing was that I just like the the sensation. Your fingers were grimy, like they were dirty, like like almost as if you had been playing with dust with your fingers. Yeah. And it's the kind of grime where like. The moment I feel it, it's dry, but as soon as my saliva comes in contact, it becomes wet and moist, and I can feel the the moist grime. Like it was the that grooves type of, and yes, shit? Yes, it was that type of shit. And I, like, I could feel the residue of, of old dirt and just sweat when you pulled them out of my mouth. And then it, it, <laughs> and then it sunk in that, oh, germs. There's germs in this. And I was like, Ryan, what the fuck, dude? I'm gonna get sick now. You make it seem like I have black tar hands. You do. No, I don't. You're always getting tar all over everything. <laughs> it's all over the fucking it's pillow. 
Ryan. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking splashing it everywhere whenever I laugh. It spews out of the guttural part of my throat. You just got a bucket of tar on your lap during the, every podcast. You're just like <laughs> flicking it around. Just like just throwing it around the room. Like, Ryan, put the tar away. Stop. Oh, my You're God. You're always bringing that fucking jar of tar out. Go, go to the tar pits, you fucking tar baby. Tar baby's a racial slur. Is it? Yeah. What? Oh, my God. Is it really? Do you not know that? No, I'm going to look this up. Tar baby is like a bad word. <laughs> tar baby? It's like from the South way back in the day. Are you kidding I'm me? I'm serious. No way. I'm serious. I'm looking up tar baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Tar baby, that's, that's awful. I, I now know that. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> Won't say it no more on my podcast, Ryan. <laughs> nope. Anthony Hopkins. Who's that? What? Just kidding. Who is he, Matt? Anthony Hopkins? Yeah. It's the chef. <laughs> Who's Anthony? You know who Anthony he go, he Hopkins is. He goes to Places Unknown. <laughs> you know who he is. No, I know. I just I can't remember right now. He was in the most recent Transformers movie. Yeah, like I saw that pirate. <laughs> uh, hello, Matt. He was in The Right. The what? The Right. What's R I T E. What's that about? An exorcism? Ugh, come on, Who's Matt. Anthony Hopkins? All I know is Anthony Weiner, the guy who took a picture <laughs> oh, of his God. wiener. Anthony Hopkins, is he was in Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He played uh, Han Hanson. Yeah. Oh, What's his name? Oh Grundelow? What's his name? Hansel? <laughs> the guy from fucking... Reddle? No, is no. He the, is he the Wicked Witch of the West? Who's the guy? What is his name? Scar? Lester? Hmm, Who's what? the guy from Silence of What's the Lambs? What's his name? Huh? Hannibal is his name. Is his name Quagmire? It's Hannibal. I remember now. <laughs> Sorry, I just hey, I got my, my mind is spacing right now. It's Hannibal. See, Larry the Cable Guy is that his name? Got any more funny ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about Anthony Hopkins? He's in the most recent Transformers movie. Why did you bring him up in the first place? I want to give him though. a round of a, f a round of a, f a round of a. Why am I clapping for Anthony Hopkins? Because he was in the most recent Transformers movie. And Why did you bring him up though? Because I'm proud of him. Okay. That he's in the most recent Transformers movie. Speaking of Transformers, who who what celebrity did we see the other day, Ryan? We saw Chris Pine the other day. Oh, is it because he was he's he's not in the Transformers movies? Yeah, that was the joke. Yeah, but we saw Chris Pine. He's very handsome in real life. He is. He's so he's so handsome. He is like graying in the beard and shit. Mm -hmm. He's just like his head is big though. But yeah, Chris Pine. More like Chris Oak, am I right? <laughs> That's awful. Ryan, can, will you, would you film me if I went to like a stand-up club, like an open mic night? No, I told you we want to do that thing where like you go up on an open mic night and we plan like I, I'll i be the heck oh, yeah. And we create this awkward environment between like the audience and you. So it's like for us, it's our show and we're taking <laughs> we're taking the show away from like the audience, I guess, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I don't know. I just like that. But we never tell them it's a joke. No, it's just like a, it's like a an art piece. Yeah, between a heckler and a poor a piss poor comedian. Like I would do this. Like I would start off with just really bad jokes before you get offended. Like I have to do some regular ones. I'd be like, so my mom came in my room to do my laundry the other day, and she goes, she goes, I got some new detergent. I go, what flavor is it, mom? And she goes, clean linen. And when I look at the audience, I'm like, clean linen, more like John Lennon. <laughs> I'm like, no one laughs and shit. And then you'll just be like, you suck. <laughs> And then we'll just get into a big fight and be like, oh yeah, idiot? Then why am I the one telling the jokes on stage? Because this place sucks. And then the manager just kicks you out. <laughs> I the, know. The, re the rest of the shit is ruined for me. I know. And then I just have to finish my time on stage. I have to just tell real jokes. Or I'll just tell the John Lennon joke again. I'll I just can go, imagine that. So me getting kicked out by the owner and ruining this big plan we had. So then I'm just up there and I'm like, John <laughs> <Yeah>. Lennon. <laughs> I mean, clean linen. More like John Lennon. <laughs> and then I walk off stage and that's the whole thing. Oh, that would be beautiful. That would be fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Would you do that? Of course I would. Well, it's because it's like the joke's on them. Like, you know how this is going. It's we not embarrassing for you to do this because it's supposed to be embarrassing. Well, we could just do a really funny scenario and then just... just even we could end it where you come up on stage and like, this was all planned. We, we bamboozled you guys. You got comedied. <laughs>
You guys just got goofed. You got comedied up here. <laughs> and then we throw water balloons at the audience and run out. <laughs> we throw rotten tomatoes from the <laughs> stage, and then that's the end of the show. <laughs> We're never allowed back in any comedy club in Hollywood. <laughs> but boys, we'd, be, would we, we'd be known. <laughs> would we? They didn't, we would just be known as the assholes who threw tomatoes at people. Exactly. Fuck. You can live in fame, or you can live in infamy. Would that that be infamy, right? What? Yeah, that would be infamy. Cool. Yes, I'm you'd be infamous, just like Mr. Anime. <laughs> He's infamous for his <laughs> terrible anime. Reviews. How are you ever friends with that guy? <laughs> God damn it, Ryan! Don't say that. <laughs> People are dumb. They're gonna take it seriously. <laughs> I never knew Mr. Anime. I never met him. He lives in a different state. I don't think if, I don't know what state he was in, but I don't think I've ever even been there. Didn't you guys trade Yu-Gi-Oh cards? He looks like the type of guy that would collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. God, my mom loves Mr. Anime's reviews, though. Why'd you just take a picture of me? I didn't take a picture. I just flashed the flashlight in your eyes. One time, I was on a uh, a bus, and there was like a really weird girl sitting next to me back in high school. And this this girl, uh, so one time, like, so she wanted to go by some weird name that was like lol random. Um, so like I, Arctic Wolf, something weird. It was like pasta or something like uh, she wanted to go by like noodles or something I don't uh, remember. but i just remember like i didn't see this but it was uh famous around my high school just one day during computer class she reached in her backpack and pulled out a cup and then just like threw up into it and like <laughs> set the cup down on her desk and just kept doing her work what yeah and like that and also the same class period was there a top to the cup no she just threw up and inside back i mean she got up poured it out in the water fountain just oh, came back and kept God. working and then the same class period she just like Sitting there silently, just <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> just, that's it. She didn't. She never acknowledged. That's it. me. I'm noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking awesome. Essentially, she rode my bus, and she would wore a bicycle helmet on the bus. I was on the bus next to her once, early in the morning, and the sun hadn't fully come up yet. And I wanted to take a picture of her because she. Why did uh, you want to take a picture? Because of this girl? she had this look on her face, like she was about to vomit everywhere. And this thing happened recently, so I was like, oh, man, my friend watched it happen in that computer class, so I'll send him a picture, like, say, like, hey, look who I'm sitting next to on the bus. And uh, I go to take a picture, dim bus, and I actually have my flash on, so I flash the camera right in her face. I say, I say that's like, that's like uh, even though I don't believe in it, that's karma. For what? For oh, for, for me trying to take a picture yeah, of her? Yeah. So then all I did, like, to try to cover my trail was I just started flashing my flashlight in all different directions around the bus to try to make it look like I was just playing around with my flashlight. Because <laughs> that's what normal people do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking... That, no, that, that's no, the... that must have not been this f f flash. That's the same as, like, committing a crime and then walking past a police officer and whistling. Like You should have just said, tag, you're it. And then she thought it was a cute little game. And then she would have wanted to date me and she'd give me a little love letter and throw up in a cup and give it to me. <laughs> She throws up the words I love you with like alphabet soup or whatever. <laughs> she eats the specific letters and throws it up. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she has a talent for making them appear in order. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I had to practice a lot to get here. This one's for you, noodles or pasta or whatever you went by. I don't remember. I don't think I ever even talked to you. Here's to you, Parmesan. I remember you had short hair and short wore hair, a don't bicycle care. helmet on the bus. But so. not off the bus. Uh, I think it's because she biked to the bus stop, so she would just put her helmet on, like, way ahead of time. Huh. She was prepared. She came prepared. That's why she brought the cup to class, and that's why she wore a bicycle helmet on the bus. She was just ready to get home. She <laughs> like... <laughs> I just remember my fucking bus driver from high school, dude. This was old white man who was, like, 70. And, uh... And he, he had, like, a big white beard. He looked like Santa Claus. And he had, like, four outfits. He'd either dress up in a full Harley Davidson biker gear, or he would dress up in a full blue train conductor's outfit, or he would dress up completely in a, uh, like, an old military uniform with all those badges. And he would drive the bus every day. And when you'd get on the bus, you'd go, hello! And then as people are getting off the bus, he would go, bye, bye. Bah, 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 just like that. And um, he crashed the bus three times in one year. <laughs> what? How did he crash the bus? If you uh, crash it once, you might lose your job, possibly just at least put on, like, leave or, like, oh, you know, maybe continue. This was you crashed the bus twice? 
You're definitely You're let go. Crashed it but three he crashed times. it three times and then he still drove it afterwards. <laughs> He's driving children. You know what he did? Do you know what would happen if every parent on that, like, if, of the kids on that bus knew that he was in three separate accidents? I'm sure a lot of them did. He was, he was uh, such a nice guy, though. Like, so we're driving. Sorry I fucking killed your children. <laughs> That's okay. You're a good fucking human. I remember. We were on the way to school. And he just slammed into someone at a red light and like three cars bounced up on their front tires. Jesus. And uh, and they had to take someone away on a stretcher that was like two cars up. It's not funny. That's <laughs> fucked up. And uh, I think the this is this old man's fault. I think the person, he just wasn't paying attention. I feel really bad for him. What? You, <laughs> you can't say that about automobile. Cl- he just wasn't paying attention, you know? You, you Driving know, we, a bus of children. We, yeah. yeah, we all we all have those No, moments. I just like, I can't help but feel bad Where for we him. We almost kill a busload of children. He was so nice. Such a sweet man. I remember on the last I, I've never come close to killing a busload of children. Not he, yet. He three times. <laughs> he mean, had the he had the he had the possibility three times of killing a busload of children. I remember uh I just liked it because it meant I got to get to school late and I had an excuse and it was fucking awesome. <laughs> But I remember on the last day of school, he like wanted to take pictures with some of the kids on the bus, and one of them was Pasta or Noodles or whatever her name was. He liked her, and they took pictures, and he cried uh, on the last day of school every year. He would cry because he didn't get to see the kids anymore. Looking back now, it's a hmm. little weird. But he was, was it a very on his nice personal phone, or like the kids would want to take pictures. I don't remember, just with a little camera or something. Wanted wait, take, wait, got off the camera. He, he had his own. Bus. He had his own personal camera that he would take. I don't pictures know if it was his kids. or if it was like Pasta's. I don't remember. But you, but you said he took more than a few pictures. Yeah, he would take like a couple. Did like, he have like a little disposable camera? He'd, get off, the camera bus, of his he'd own. get off the bus and he would pose with some of them and take a picture. I'm serious. I'm not making this shit up. That's. <laughs> Were you one of those kids, Matt? No, I sat in the back of did the you, bus. Did and... you pose for any of his pictures? Only a few at his house with no pants. <laughs> no, but uh, we've I remember, all been there. Uh, he hated me and my friend. Uh, we like I remember one time because he wouldn't take off your pants. I just want a picture. <laughs> uh, my friend had like a goofy hat on, like from Mickey Mouse, and he stuck his head out the window. We were on a bridge, and he pulled the bus over on the side of the bridge and like walked to the back of the bus and was like, You're gonna get depacitated. We got really mad and yelled at him. <laughs> De- <laughs> depacitated. Oh, I had another bus driver named Miss Sheila, and she she was like four feet tall. And she I had one old. named Miss Sheila. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. She was like stereotypical attitude bus driver woman. I had one of those, but Miss Sheila was nice. She was this old lady, and the only clothes she would wear would be these like cheesy Christian like lines. One of them had two drumsticks, and it had the Kiss font from the Kiss logo, and it said "Stick with Jesus." And she had a couple other ones like that that had to do with like Jesus puns. But I remember she'd drive the bus, and um, as soon as she smelled like perfume or something, she'd start hacking her lungs up and screaming like "Shut it! Shut it!" Because apparently she was in a chemical fire, so now her lungs are fucked up. And if she smells perfume, she starts dying. And what? I remember someone opened up a banana once. She's like, oh, shut it! Shut the perfume! And they're like, it's a banana! <laughs> and she was like, hack your lungs up. And one morning, someone sprayed some Axe cologne or some perfume. I, I, you can't even You can't be a cologne. bus driver and have your lungs be that weak? Well, that's the truth. You know how County much pollution a bus? I don't like, know what it is, but... She pulled over the bus and, like, on the side of the highway and just, like, threw up all over the ground and then got back on the bus and just drove us back to school. I still remember that vividly. It scared me. Because I was like, is my bus driver dying right now? <laughs> she just, like, because she smelled some perfume. Did you ever see her again? Uh, no, not since high school. I don't even know if she's, I don't know if she still drives the bus. She might. I had a nice bus driver. Her name was Miss Daisy. So she, Miss Daisy was driving us. Yeah, Miss Daisy was driving you. Aha. Nice. Yo, dude, why don't we start a sunglasses review channel? I'm down, 100%. You know what we should do on that sunglasses review channel? Wait. Not only review sunglasses, but wear sunglasses. While we review them? Yes. Okay. And we have... Ah, dude, we should get, like, little mini... No! (gasps) We should get GoPros and put the lenses on the GoPros (gasps) so people can have a PO... (gasps) People can have a POV! Of what it's like to wear the sunglasses. (gasps) Yes, dude! That's fucking smart, Ryan. <gasps> I'm very proud of you for that idea. So now we're going to have Super Mega, and we're also going to have a water bottle review channel and a sunglasses channel. Why don't we just start making a whole bunch of channels? We should do that. Just make channels. We already have fun. a Diddy Kong dancing with channel. Yeah, yeah. We got that one. That's a good channel, you guys. That has how many subs does that have? Let me look that up real What's quick. What's the channel called again? <laughs> I don't remember. Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong dancing. <laughs> 
It says 29,000 views, 4,000 subscribers. Suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Why the fuck does this video have 30,000 views and this channel has 4,000 subscribers, Ryan? Ladies, gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 51. That's the num- This is the number podcast that there are states in the United States. If you like this podcast, make sure to uh, uh, click the like button below. And leave a comment. Please tell your friends. Come back next week to listen to episode 52. And uh, just, you know, it's it's been fun, guys. I've enjoyed doing this. Episode 51 of Super Mega Cast. It's on iTunes. Go listen to it on iTunes. It's on Google Play Music, whatever that shit's called. Thank you to MeUndies for sponsoring us. Uh, and and uh, thank you, John Lennon. More like John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> See, it is funny. It is. Yeah. <laughs>